Oh, congratulations. 37 games unbeaten, but most importantly, promotion. How does it feel? Amazing, brilliant, fantastic uh, to get promoted with a, with a club that I uh, adore and love. Uh, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Obviously, we have got promoted. Obviously, the aim now is to, to try and win it. Uh, but to put this football club, this great football club, back you know, back in the summer league, that was the season's objectives. And it's a great feeling, absolutely brilliant feeling. Did you think it was going to happen as we got closer to injury time and uh, the chances just kept going begging? Yeah, they did. You know, one thing that I say, we today, as we said it, I said it right from the outgo. As soon as we got in, it's all about character today. Because I know we have quality. I know we have goals. We can keep clean sheets. It's, you know, I think that's six on the bounce now. But it, we was never going to blow away us, blow away this highway side because they are full of very good players. All Southern League players. You know, a couple of ex-pros in it that have been around the block and everything like that. And, you know, to keep chipping away, to keep grinding away, I think from midway through the first half, I felt we controlled the game. But to keep going, you know, credit where it's credit's due, they did keep going. And to seal it in the 92nd and 94th minute is, yeah, something that I will, I will never ever forget as long as my football journey continues. And if I told you in August, September, October time that we would be coming to Highworth and uh, robbing them of promotion, basically, would you believe me? No, not at all, because the home game against Highworth, they were the best side we played all season long. I thought they, they were awesome that night. I, was, I took a step back that night and thought, Jesus, if that's the standard, that's in this Hellenic League at the top of the table, we're going to have to go some. Uh, but, you know, we, we added along the way. You know, at crucial times, I felt that we added the right kind of player at the right time. We added Liam Ferdinand from Bracknell, who's obviously going to get all the headlines tonight. Uh, we've added Gavin James at the right time, Ross Cook at the right time. I know we've sent forwards, but they, they're the ones that score the goals pretty much all the time. Um, to have a squad of 22 players that have been rotated uh, on all fronts, leagues, cups, vases, uh, and to keep churning out result after result is testament to how good the squad is. But no, I wouldn't. Yeah, I must admit, I wouldn't have believed you if you told me that. Uh, but uh, but now it's gone true. You know, a vase final to look forward to, Flooded cup final to look forward to, and now promotion back into the summer league where. You know, I always say where this football club probably belongs. How important is the title now? Massive, huge. You know, we've we've got two games left. They're both at home. Obviously, Bracknell, Bracknell are not going to lose in my head. You know, that's a way that we've got to think. So it's going to, you know, could well do go down to goal difference if we win both our games. Um, I know for a fact, Tuffley really, really tested Bracknell last for, uh, last Saturday. We we, you know, we host on Thursday. Uh, sorry, we host on Saturday. Uh, so that's going to be a massive test for us. Then I'll see Brackley Town Saints on the Thursday. Um, there we struggled like hell, you know, if it wasn't for Dan Brackley. And then I'll say late goal from Cookie, you know, we, we would have drawn there. So, you know, two tough games to, to try and get it over the line. Two games that we're going to look forward to on the flip side of it as well. Uh, but obviously, first and foremost, attention is turned to how we do Thursday night, which is a semi final and another game that uh, obviously we want to try and progress and get to another final for. Finally, we've talked a lot about the fans we've been picking up throughout the season. Obviously, a lot of local people getting on the board and supporting the team. And tonight, I don't know if, if you and the players felt it, but there was a chant of Blue Army going around just before the goal. And it was like that support just right at the deck. That's what makes this football journey that we've been on all season uh, so special. Um, I turned up three years ago and the attendance is for the size of Fashion Town Football Club was, was abysmal, let's be honest, it was abysmal. You know, it was, you know, 60s, 70s, 80s on a good day. Now we're averaging over 110, 120. To bring a, a massive following like we did tonight, to hear them singing, you know, pretty much all the way through. You know, especially the noise went up second half because obviously I was, they were a little bit closer to us in the dugout and everything like that. Um, but, you know, football's all about memories and journeys together. And, you know, us, us as a club are on a great journey and to, to have the level of support we've now got and taken away on a Monday night to Highworth is, is testament to how far this club's gone. And for every person that drove down the M4 today, to every person that uh, uh, sang a song, you know, we are internally grateful. We need them at Abingdon Thursday. We need them at Tuffley on, on Saturday. We need them again at Brackley, at home to Brackley on, um, on the following Thursday. And yeah, no, every person that has charted us and followed us through this amazing season thus far, you know, we are totally grateful. Well, congratulations.
congratulations and uh, good luck with the final few games of the season. Let's hope we uh, pick up a bit of silverware on the way. Oh, we will try. We will try.